So today we're going to be finding out what's in this AT&T home phone. It's been a long time since I've had a home phone, probably mid to early high school. Um, so let's see what's in it. Let's do, actually let's do the base first. Let's take this off here. You've seen what's in a transformer. I've done this uh, previously in the past, so I won't do that again. Let's take the actual base apart though and see what's inside of this. If I can hold on to the screwdriver, that is. Take one off. And let's see. So when you pull this apart, there's not much to it. There's really just two injection molded pieces of plastic, the screw, and then a very low grade board with two wires. Not much to it. Let's take apart the phone which is bound to have a little bit more in it at least. So you have injection molding back cover. We have a battery, let's take that out. This is just a rechargeable battery pack, has two basically triple A's bound and wrapped with wires coming out of it. And let's take the actual cover off it. And we only have two screws. It looks that way. Let's see. Let's see if this actually comes apart though. Let's see if we can prop, pop this apart or if there's hidden screws in it somewhere. And no, it doesn't appear that way. Let's see if we can pop this. There we go. So we take that off and it has an injection molded back piece. It has a little spring on the speaker. And I'll have to find that somewhere. Anyway, that was holding the speaker in place. As we've seen before, just two wires connected to a magnet, which is the speaker. We have just an injection molded piece of plastic with the speaker outputs there. And we got a few more screws in here. So let's take these off. We got a low grade board. It looks like attached to uh, the front side of the plastic housing. And these two screws came off pretty easily. What dumps out is just this injection mold base plate, a piece of plastic glass, if you will, that is the screen. We have the buttons, just like if you haven't seen my keyboard video, what's inside that, it's very similar to this. You have rubber uh, pads on the back uh, that attach and push on these contact points, completing the circuit and completing the input that you desire for it. So that's all this is, is just the plastic rubber buttons. I think these buttons actually come off. No, they don't. They're glued into it. They are one with this rubber piece now. So let's see if we can take this screen off. We got another small speaker with a tiny magnet inside of it. Let's see if we can pop the screen off without shattering it. This one is actually glass, this portion. It has a little plastic, couple of plastic contacts behind it. And let's see, there we go. Let's pop the whole housing off. And there's really not much to this other than that. We got the little speaker. We got the piece of glass screen. We have probably a small processor under here. And we do. This is, I believe, a heat sink for the processor as well as a protective cover. Uh, it's a DSP group, it says processor. Give me a close up there. And that's about it. That's all that's in this. These are pretty uh, simple as compared to the old ones. More high tech for sure, but less actual components to them. So, all right guys. As always, if you would please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have ideas for future videos, as always, I'm up to it. Thank you, have a good day.